Hey folks, I thought you'd all like to know that Republicans continue to waste taxpayers' time and money now by censoring Adam Schiff. A censure, by the way, is a formal state of disapproval, which Trump threatened House Republicans that if they didn't vote to censure Adam Schiff, they should immediately be primary. So they all voted to censure Adam Schiff. But there is a silver lining to this because we see just how effective Schiff was in holding Trump and Republicans accountable. So much so that the only thing they could really do because they have a slim majority is censure him, which Trump was all about doing because Trump is, you know, petty. AF. And I'd like to bring your attention, if it hasn't already been brought, to Dan Goldman. He's a Democratic representative from New York. He also was the lead majority counsel in Trump's first impeachment and the lead counsel to House managers in Trump's second impeachment. He is an up and coming rock star in Congress. Thank you to the folks in New York who put Dan Goldman in his seat. Because Dan Goldman has been standing up to the atrocities of House Republicans, especially when it comes to this censure. In fact, Democrats have been very vocal in how ridiculous they think this censure is. As the weaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy, tried to gavel in the votes that censured Adam Schiff, Democrats all yelled shame. And McCarthy tried to gavel order in the chamber, which, of course, the weaker of the House could not do. On this vote, the A's are 213 and the nays are 209. With six answering present, the resolution adopted. Without objection, the motion to consider is relayed on the table. House will be in order. That's our taxpayer time and money going to that vote. All to appease a criminal, former, twice impeached, twice now indicted president. And I would love for you to listen to what Dan Goldman had to say about it on the chamber floor. One of my colleagues says, we will hold members accountable. You are the party of George Santos. Who are you holding accountable? The guy is an alleged and acknowledged liar and indicted and you protect him every day. Don't lecture us with your projection and your defense of Donald Trump. It's pathetic and it's beneath you and it's beneath this body and I yield back. Democrats are fighting back against fascism. We must help them out by continuing to vote them in. Vote out corrupt fascist Republicans by continuing to vote blue. Clap.